All right, here we are. We're completely lost. Our GPSs aren't working. We don't recognize any of the terrain around us. So we're going to try to find out where we are by navigating using the VORs. So how are we going to do that? The first thing we're going to do, fly in a circle so we don't get more lost. Today we're flying at 3,500 feet. We're in a standard rate turn, cruising at about our VA for this aircraft, around 90 knots, and we're stabilized. So first things first, fly the airplane, and then now we're going to try to tune in some VORs. So what we want to do is we want to set up our nav radios, or nav 1 and nav 2, for our VOR frequencies. So looking here at our chart, this is going to represent a paper chart, because in this case, the iPad has our airplane turned off, so we don't really know where we are. It's essentially just a paper chart. And we're going to tune up some VOR. Let's tune in this Oceanside VOR, so we have no idea where we are. And we're just going to try to see you know, if we're even near this at all. So we can see on this VOR, the frequency is going to be this 115.3. So we'll come over to our nav radio 1, we'll type 5.3 in standby. We're going to flip that to the top. So we can see we get confirmation it is Ocean Oceanside. It already shows us what radio we're on, but we're going to ignore that for the sake of this. And uh, the other thing we want to do to confirm that this is the correct VOR is quickly listen to it. So we click nav 1 over here. We can listen to what's tuned in. We should hear the Morse code frequency. Cool, that sounds right. See the Morse code frequencies right there. Long dot, long dot, long dot. Cool. All right, now we'll do the same thing for our second VOR on the bottom. So here on Nav Radio 2, let's find another VOR on the chart. Here's one. It's kind of been a mess of things, but this is the Mission Bay VOR. We're going to tune in 117.8, and we're going to listen for this frequency right here. 117.8. We'll flip over. We'll see, this is down here on our Nav Radio 2. We'll come up to Nav 2 and listen for the frequency. Cool, that sounds correct. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, try to find what radio we're on. So we'll go back to the nav one. If these aren't activated and you're still in GPS mode, you might need to click this CDI button right here. Um, so you can see we're on GPS mode here. You click it again, VLOC, now we're on our VOR nav. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to turn this until we see a from indication so we can figure out what radio we're on from the VOR. So we'll start twisting this. There's our from indication twist it right around where this looks like if east is 90 or this looks like a 100 radial and we can see in our VOR on this com it actually tells us that we're on the radial the 103 radial so that all checks out we also have the from indication so that lets us know where we are so looking at the chart if we can find that we have the 090 radial and this was going to be the 100 radial so we're probably right about here. So let's try to extrapolate that line out. One thing I like to do is to get the ruler tool. We'll put that right through our point and right through the center. And we can draw a line as straight as we can. And then we can zoom out and extrapolate it even further. We don't know where we are on the chart, so we're going to make sure this line is nice and long. All right. So that's one. Now let's go over and figure out where we are on this other uh, the Mission Bay VOR. So that's going to be on number two. So we'll spin this around. Oh, there we go. That's pretty quick. So we have the from indication, which is what we want to see. We're finding out where we are from the station. And that's going to look like a 360 to a 010, maybe a 012 radial. So let's find that. So that's probably going to be right about here. This is 360, 010. This is going to be our radio right here. Let's do the same thing. Let's draw a line right through here. We'll zoom out. We're going to look for where this line intersects. So I figure we're right about here. It's going to be right near Lake Hodges. Um, so to turn on and off our airship, what we're going to do is we're going to go to more settings. And then right here where it says enable own ship. We'll turn it back on to always. We'll see. All right. So we were right right here. So we were a little off, but that's going to be close enough in real life. So you can at least get familiarized with where you're at uh, to maybe look for some landmarks. So if we did end up being here, you know, we could keep circling and maybe we would see 
Lake Hodges, which is this lake that's shaped. Uh, maybe we would see Ramona right off our nose, and we could reorient ourselves and figure out where we are. So that's how you do VOR triangulation in case you lose your GPSs or something.